Good afternoon. Welcome to my TV Quick Poly News. If you've not liked our Facebook page, you've not shared our videos, you've not made your comments, and then you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, then you 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 you've not done well. Try to go on our YouTube channel, subscribe. Subscription is free on YouTube channel, so forget about the language. Subscribe is free. Just click on the subscribe button, and then you'll be able to see as many videos that will be coming up as at the draw. If you're able to pick them up, also don't forget the last lecture we had on Genesis, which was lecture one. It's on our YouTube channel, also. It's also on our Facebook page. Try to go over there, pick it up, go over it again, and that will help you to be able to follow us tightly as we progress in this journey of Genesis. Today, we want to look at a certain question, a very important question here. We look at it. We have a, we have a, a value here multiplied by another value here. If you have a question like this and you have to use the first law to solve, what do you do? Basically, what you should do, number one, is to see that you arrange the terms. Arrange the term means take numbers to number, take alphabets to alphabets. That means in this case, I'm going to take 3 to 4, I'm also going to take x to x, and also take y to y. Look at how it's going to go. So I'm going to have 3 by 4, that part is set, that is number to number. Then I'm going to have x to x, that is, it's not just another x, it's x raised to power 5 times x ordinary x, which is raised to power, oh, then look at that, you have y raised to power minus 2 times y raised to power 5. Clearly, if you look at it clearly, 3 times 4 is 12, then that part is set to, what about this part? This takes us to the first law, don't forget, when you have a quantity like this, it is raised to the power of 1. So, let's quickly add 1 to it, then it makes sense now. So, looking at it clearly, you will see. You will see clearly from our law, our law says that we will pick one of them and add up the power because it is multiplication that is here. So I'm going to pick x, then add up the power 5 plus 1. The same thing happens to this. Pick one y, add up the power minus 2 plus 5. Clearly, if you look at it now, you discover that you are going to have x squared. This is x raised to power 6. And this is y raised to power 3. Clearly, this, is, this will be our result, and then um, we can look at other examples as we progress. This is example two. Looking at it clearly, it's more like what we just did, but for the fact that this one doesn't have a number yet, but there's a number there. That is one. When it is like this, there is one there. So there is one here, so I'm going to take it as one. Or better still, I just write number to number and pick alphabet and arrange them alphabetically the way we did the other time. Now look at it. That means I have only 7 here. Then I'm going to multiply with a, a raised to power 5. Pick a, a raised to power 5. Then look at that. This is b, b raised to power 6 times b raised to power 3. Clearly, we also apply the first law. This one is a. It remains like that. They apply the first law, it means that I'm going to pick 1a and add up the power. So I'm going to pick 1a and add 5 plus 5. Already we know what 5 plus 5 is. I'm going to pick 1b and add up 6 plus 3. Clearly, if I'm going to look at it, my answer is going to be 7, a raised to power 10, b raised to power 9. If you can follow this successfully and you love what you saw, it behoves you to invite people to our page. Let them like our page. Let them share the information there. Go on YouTube. Subscribe. It's free to subscribe. On YouTube, you have access to varieties of our work. I'm going to let's look at example three now so that we can progress in this course. If you understood the first and second example, I don't think this example will be a problem because already whatever we are going to do here has already been done before now. So I will employ us to try this out on our own. And if you have any problem at all uh, in solving this, we have our number there, call us. Our Facebook number is there. Uh, I mean, our WhatsApp number is there. Send me WhatsApp me. I would like to chat with you. I would like to discuss mathematics with you. Chat me up. Drop messages for us on our Facebook. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. By all means, try to reach out to us. Then we'll be of help to you. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then you will see, you will be, you will be opportune to see a whole lot of uh, um, um, videos at the draw. Don't forget, this is Smart Clinic with Polynews. See you next time. I'm out of here. Thank you.